it was essentially to define the Olympic Games. That was the learning intention, and they needed to be able to do that. And so what we did at the start is they wrote their definition of the Olympic Games, and uh, then as the learning progressed and as they learned more and took on more knowledge, um, there we got them to revise their definitions. Uh, and the way we did it, they started off with um, a black, uh, just black and white, uh, and that was their first definition. And as they changed their definition, they changed the uh, colour of um, as they progressed. So we started off with black and white. We uh, went to green, red, gold uh, was the uh, ultimate final colour. So some people had two or three, uh, other people had um, maybe six or seven different versions. As they uh, moved themselves up the scale, they looked at their definition, they decided whether they were um, multi-structural, relational, and uh, what they needed to do to their definition to move themselves up to extended abstract. And it really was quite a powerful tool because a lot of the, almost all of the children were able to move at least one, up one level, if not um, two. Since then, we've gone into um, using it for our forces in motion and we created a rubric um, uh, with a lot more input from the children and it took a lot less time as well. It was, it was all over, I think, in about 15 minutes we created the rubric for um, this unit that we're currently working on and just about finished. So in terms of the kids being able to um, talk about their learning and then move themselves on to uh, higher level thinking, very, very um, good tool for doing that.